John the Baptist foretold of Jesus, saying, He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. We read that in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. This fire is not just a metaphor. It is the literal empowerment and purification of the Holy Spirit. It signifies a burning passion and a powerful anointing that sets believers ablaze for God. Smith Wigglesworth's testimony of his baptism in the Holy Spirit is a powerful reminder of the transformative fire of God. He described his experience vividly. He said, the fire fell and burned in me till the Holy Spirit clearly revealed absolute purity before God. At this point, the sister who laid hands upon Smith was called out of the room and during her absence, a marvelous revelation took place. He says, my body became full of light and holy presence. And in the revelation, I saw an empty cross. And at the same time, Jesus, the one I loved and adored, crowned in glory in a reigning position. Incredible. This revelation was not just a momentary encounter. It was a profound transformation. From that moment on, Smith Wigglesworth was never the same. I personally remember people telling me after my encounter with God in my 20s that my fire, my passion, it would wane. But when God's fire falls upon you, it is as if he takes a brand from heaven and sears it into your heart. The divine mark is a personal and intimate experience between you and God. It may not make sense to others, but it is undeniable to you. It transforms your life and sets you apart for his purpose. One of my favorite quotes and current prayers to pray is from William Seymour, a key figure in the Azusa Street Revival. He said, Lord, dip me in the kerosene of your spirit and set my heart ablaze that I may burn for you. The world today desperately needs burning and shining lights that reflect the glory of Christ. His servants are to be flames of fire, ministers of the abundant life and power that Jesus came to give. May our lives be marked by his presence and his power, shining as beacons of his glory, radiating hope to a world in need. Amen. Have a beautiful week, friend. Bye.